So let us do a question on this line passing through two points. Okay, so so we are given the two points like this. So I consider one of them as A, one of them as A, and the other as B. So let me let me consider A. What is the vector corresponding to these points? Minus so I minus I cap plus zero J cap plus two K cap, correct? And what is B? B is three I cap plus 4j cap plus 6k cap right and i know that r minus a you you can you can also do r minus b it is not a big deal okay you will get the same equation so r minus a is equal to lambda times b minus a now wh what is my r so so i know that my r is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So, r is equal to a plus lambda b minus a. Now, what is my a? a is minus i cap plus 2 k cap plus lambda times what is b minus a? So, this gives me b minus a. So, 3 minus minus 1 is 4 i cap plus 4 j cap plus 4 k cap hmm? you can you, you can bring out this 4 also and you can write it as some mu into that right so so minus i cap plus 2 k cap plus 4 lambda i cap plus j cap plus k cap and 4 lambda i treat it as treat it as mu okay so it is mu times i cap plus j cap plus k cap okay four lambda i have converted into mu after all it is a scalar into a scalar another is scalar since it is all all an arbitrary constant so it does not bother me right correct now if someone asks me to convert this into into Cartesian then I shift this here so I it gives me R plus I cap minus 2 K cap is equal to mu I cap plus J cap plus K cap so that gives me here it is what this is X I cap plus Y J cap plus Z K cap plus I cap minus 2k cap is mu into i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So, I get you see what x plus 1 i cap plus 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 what y j cap plus z minus 2k cap is equal to mu i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Now, now it must be pretty clear to you. So, it gives me what? I am going by the, I am not plugging it into, into my formula. Okay? So, I am coming from the vector. So, I equate that. So, I get what? X plus, I will write it here. X plus 1 is equal to mu. Is it not? Y is equal to mu. And Z, Z minus 2 is equal to mu. So, what does it give me? It gives me x plus 1 upon 1 is equal to y minus 0 upon 1 is equal to z minus 2 upon 1. Correct? You need not be writing this one, but why I have written that? Because that gives you an indication of the direction ratio of this line, is it not? So, you should normally write it like that. This gives you an indication of the direction ratio. Had I not taken away this 4, it would have become x plus 1 by 4, y minus 0 by 4 and z minus 2 upon 4 and 4 would have got cancelled, right? So, it would have get then again reduced to 1, 1, 1 and you understand that I say the direction ratio to be 1, 1, 1 or 4, 4, 4, it is 1 and the same thing, right? It is 1 and the same thing because they are representing the same direction cosine. So, we get the point, 
how to come to the Cartesian equation from the vector equation. Okay. That's understood. Okay. So we go to the next topic.